If you've ever been in a far corner of your property and tried to get a Wi-Fi signal for your computer, well, we just might have a solution for you. I have Verizon Fios, and supposedly it should have a thousand feet of range around the uh, router, whatever they call the OTL, I think it is, but it doesn't doesn't reach the back part of my property. Of course, it's in my house, it's to the front of my house, and there's walls, electronics and stuff that it's got to go through, so the signal's going to degrade. So I was quite happy when Adelove contacted me and asked me to try out their Wi-Fi access point. It's got four different modes, one of which is a repeater. So I'm going to set it up as a repeater so that my Wi-Fi signal can reach the back of my property. So the wireless outdoor access point from Adelov uh, ships in two boxes. You've got the one with the Wi-Fi 5 dual band access point inside. And the second one comes with the mounting equipment. This is the bracket that you uh, mount where you want the access point to be located. It's got the pole and some uh, O-rings to tighten around a pole, if you have it. Also, if you want to mount it to a wall, it comes with uh, some uh, attachment uh, pieces. So this is the uh, access point. That's this right here. Power cord and power supply couple of hefty zip ties to uh, secure it to a pole. Comes with an Ethernet cable and some uh, grommets to run the cords through into the access point to protect it from weather. Also, it's got a manual. Now there's two things the kit doesn't come with. The first is, is a second Ethernet cable to do the setup of the uh, unit. You either need to have one already, or you have to buy one. The second thing is a uh, Ethernet network adapter. My uh, laptop doesn't include an Ethernet port in the side. I have a MacBook, so I had to get a, uh, an adapter. Uh, I got one on Amazon for about 10 bucks, a little bit less. Just so happened from an old router that I had, I had an Ethernet cable that I'll be able to use. Uh, they're not much more, but you're gonna find yourself in for about another 15 to $20 to buy these accessories that you need to set this up. So let's take a look at the manual. First, gives you all the parts that come with your uh, uh, kit. Mine were all included. Then it gives you a panel layout, which shows you all the idiot lights on the side of uh, your access point. And then it shows the connectors for the power adapter and at the bottom of the uh, access point where you hook up all your wires. The wires, the on the access point, the connections are hidden behind this uh, cover, which just snaps into place underneath here. And you can see here, it's got the holes where you screw in the grommets, where the cables will run through. And as you can also notice, it's got a hole in the bottom. And that's so that if any moisture uh, collects inside here, it'll drain out and won't uh, ruin your electronics. You get the specs for your uh, access point. Then it shows you how to mount uh, the access point. As I said, you can do it either on a pole or you can mount it to a wall. Still haven't decided yet which way I'm gonna go, whether I'm gonna mount it inside my garage or on the outside of my garage. Tells you how to connect the cables, connect the antennas, and then how to set up the access point. And this is where you need to connect it 
to a computer to run the diagnostics to uh, get it all set up. So there are four different modes, as I mentioned at the beginning. Uh, I'm only gonna set mine up as a repeater, but you can set it up as just an access point. You can set it up as a bridge. You can do it in the repeater mode, or you can do it as a router. So as I said, we're just gonna do it as a repeater. So now I'm gonna make all the connections that need to be made. So the first thing we'll do is we're going to attach the antenna, which is pretty simple. It's got little caps on the top to protect the connections. So it's thoughtful. And they just screw right on. They are directional, so you should be able to bend them in the appropriate, yeah, they, they turn, so you can point them how you like to get the best uh, reception. So the first thing we're gonna do is make sure that we have power running to the uh, AP. So we're gonna take the power adapter, plug the cord into the end, and then into an outlet. And I'm not sure if you can see, but this is showing power here. So now to get power to the AP, we just gotta hook up the ethernet cable that came with the unit. So one end for this part will go into the section that's labeled POE. And then we connect the other end into the access port. So I'm going to guess it's gonna go into this first one, which is the WAN port. It says it supports PoE. This is LAN port, LAN 1 port, and this is LAN 2 port. This one supports PoE, this one does not. So we'll uh, try and hook this up here, and let's see if the lights, oh look, uh, I'll try and cover it up so you can see that blue light there. So we do have power. Just for fun, I'm gonna take it out of here and I'm gonna put it into the LAN 1 port. Well, that's showing power too. But I'm gonna put it back into the first uh, spot. And so now, I'm gonna hook up the other to the adapter using the uh, cable that I had on hand that you're gonna to need to buy or get or have on your own plug that into there, and then I'm gonna get my computer, I'm gonna attach it to the computer here. So I've got the network adapter connected to my computer, and now I'm gonna switch to screen record to uh, show you the process for setting up the interface. To log into the device, open your computer browser and enter 192.168.10.1 to reach the device login page. And you type in the password admin. As you can see, the default setting is for router. So we need to go to the left-hand menu and we're gonna choose wizard. Here you can see you've got your four options. You can use it as a router, as a bridge, as an access point and what we want as a repeater. So we click on it and that just shows us our settings. We click next and now we need to scan to find our Wi-Fi signal. You're gonna get a list of uh, Wi-Fi signals, find yours and then click on that thing on the right. Now you wanna enter your Wi-Fi password and then click next. Now you want to assign a password to your repeater signal to protect it. So come up with the password that you'll remember and enter it in. And then you'll repeat it again to confirm it and then click next. And now click finish. Mine took literally 50 seconds to finish setting up the settings.
but I'll speed it up here so you don't have to sit here that long to watch. And as you can see, your AP is now set up as a repeater. And you're all done. So with the setup complete, I have the access point temporarily set up in my garage. I just wanna make sure that we can access it. So I'm gonna grab my laptop and go to the end of my property and see about accessing the internet using the Adelove AP. So I'm all the way at the back of my property by my chicken coop and my greenhouse. This is about as far away as from my home Wi-Fi as I could get. So I'm going to connect to the Adelov. Okay, we're connected there. I got my YouTube page up and let's see how we do. Now it will be, there will be a slight lag because it's, you know, taking the signal from the house and then boosting it back to here. Potatoes in uh, the buckets. There you go. And also other vegetables too, but primarily potatoes. And sometimes these so, are getting stacked up. So I could never do that before. And that's actually good because if you're call from one of my previous videos I uh, got a bird feeder a solar powered bird feeder that came with a Wi-Fi cam and I had to have it mounted pretty close to my house to be able to uh, see it but now with this repeater I can mount it back here where I want to not only watch the birds but also monitor my chickens too in their pen so I was never able to see them before because the uh, Wi-Fi signal never made it back here. But now with the repeater, I'll be able to watch them no problem. So the only thing left to do is to route the Ethernet cable through the grommet and then mount the unit onto the wall. So this is a pretty good setup and it does just as it's advertised. It gets my signal, my Wi-Fi signal, all the way to the back of my property which is exactly what I needed. So thanks Adelov for letting me uh, test the AP router. It's got, looks like it's a great product, it's well built. So I'll put a link down below if you wanna get one yourself. So if you wanna see what we were doing around the homestead last time, check out this video right here. Okay, thanks for watching.